Hello everybody and welcome to the PRWC Deck Out of the Glasses Truck Series. Only two races left in the regular season, and then our last race of the season before the playoffs. We're here live here for the fourth round of the new of the Atlanta Cup live from New York in the New York Auto Ring. This is New York is Pichu Luke Walker and Lyle Walker's home state. They hope to make a big impact in front of their hometown fans. So we're here live at New York Auto Ring, a.k.a. Ricky Raceway, but everyone refers to New York Auto Ring for whatever reason, so we're going to refer to it as New York Auto Ring in this track, even if there's Ricky Raceway lines in the um, pavement. Anyway, starting on the pole today is the 60 of Kyle Livingston. On the outside is the Buffalo Sabres' is Ryan Acosta. Starting third is our last winner, Seth Cole from the Maple Leafs, and fourth is the Predators' is Ryan Cooper. Fifth is the Lightning's Peter Saviano. Charles Jackson is in 6th for the Hurricane from the um, Canucks. 7th is Jake Rogers from the Red Wings and 8th is Jason Marshall from the Panthers. Ninth is Taylor Williams from the um, Capitals and rounding out the top 10. Barney Ward from the Chicago Blackhawks. Pichu starts in 24th and yeah, Luke Walker. Pichu starts, Pichu starts in 24th and Luke Walker. Well... Let's just say he's got a lot of work ahead of him in his home state. We'll see what he, what can work out. Anyway, let's hear those famous words in motorsports live from the New York Auto Ring. Cars are rolling off. There's Luke Walker in the back. Yikes. Wonder how he got there so far in his home track. I thought he would knew it by his back of his hand, but well, I don't know what happened. He just starts in the back row, but we'll see how let's let's see if Luke Walker can overcome last place to get a great finish here in his home track, New York Auto Ring. Then the last race after this will be Meadowland Speedway. Host the Rangers will host that one. That's gonna be and then the playoffs. Two races left, and this is the next to last race of the series of the season. Livingston's gonna lead the field off to the green flag at New York Auto Ring. Or Ricky Raceway, as he referred to it. And the green flag is out. We're underway at New York Auto Ring. By the way, oh wow, here comes Seth Cole, who's actually also from El from New York. He's also from New York. He's on the back. He's looking to make a back-to-back, -back, making a very big comeback since ever taking the 13 car. It's just been ex extraordinary for Seth Cole. He's had three wins, I think, so far in the PRWC, and he, and he took over halfway the season. That's remarkable. Will Cole make a comeback to make it into the playoffs? We will see. As he as the home state, another hometown favorite, Seth Cole, is gonna lead the first lap. But here comes Peter Saviano on the bottom. Here comes Peter Saviano for the lead. And he's getting help from Jake Rogers in the 30. And he got some help. And here comes Jake Rogers for the lead. Saviano has been dominant also in the series, and so has Jake Rogers. Here's Taylor Williams on the bottom. Will she make the move? And it's Jake Rogers taking the lead off the fourth turn. Here comes Taylor Williams for the lead. With help from Connor Breton. Two car tangent so far, and Taylor Williams is getting the lead. What I've also noticed, Ben Ward, I think, is backed up a bit. Oh, wow, Taylor's going to hold on as Dylan Poteet is going to go for second over Breton. Looks like Breton's not going to be able to make that move for the lead. Or is he? Wow, he shuts the door on Dylan. He's going to try to make the move for himself. And here he comes, here comes Breton. Here comes Connor Breton for the lead, for the lead. Corbin, and there's Jack Richards on the bottom and there's also Corbin Balke, the newest driver in the series. Corbin 
two new, one of the newest drivers here is the other Jason Posada. He replaced Alex Dawson. And Breen's taking the lead. Here comes Jack Richards! Right place at the right time! Look at that! Nice move right there. Here comes Jack Richards. And Jack Richards gonna be the leader. But here comes the 30. Here comes Aaron Williams. He's got some room. Aaron Williams makes a big move to first second. Will he go for the lead? And Oh he does! Aaron Williams makes it the lead! And Aaron Williams will get the lead. Wow, he's that good. And here come oh boy, here comes another good driver. Trent Dunham. Here comes Trent the Hedgie for the lead. Aaron Williams and Trent Dunham. Battling against each other. And now Aaron Williams and now Trent Dunham has the edge, but here comes Evan Gattuso. Evan Gattuso upsetted Aaron Williams in the 349 race earlier this season. So will Gattuso make another upset here? Three wide battle maybe! Here comes Xavier Livingston. They're three wide. And Aaron, wow, look at that. Oh boy, it's dangerous. High side, he just saved it. Xavier Livingston has the lead, but here comes another newbie, Jason Posada. And Xavier Livingston has the edge for now, but here comes Jason Posada. Jason Posada replaced Alex Dawson after Dawson closed his account. Livingston shuts the door. He's going to have enough room, but here comes the 87 of Zach Carlson. Here comes Zach Carlson, and right behind them is the 31 of Jake Baskinger. Will 87 make the move, or will he be shut out? Oh, he's on the bumper! It looks like Xavier Livingston might be the first driver to lead more than one lap today. And he might be. He will. He's hanging on tough. Really tough. But look at this. Guess who's now in fourth? The hometown hero, Pichu. And guess what? Who's also in fifth? Luke Walker, who started all the way in dead last. And now he's making a run for the top five, maybe even a win. And Zach Carlson just cannot make the move. Now here we go. He now he makes the move. And along with Pichu, here comes Pichu for the third spot. Now he might go for second. Will Pichu get a win in his home track? Well, it, it might be his very first ever. He's never won in his home state. He's looking to do so today. Here comes Pichu, and here he comes, Luke Walker. Luke Walker below. Here he comes for the lead. Two car tangent still, and it is still anybody's race. Pichu for the lead. Here comes Barney Ward for second. And Luke Walker is going for the lead. Pichu and Luke Walker battling one two. And now Luke Walker has the lead. And he's gonna lead a lap here at New York Auto Ring. That is just remarkable to lead a single lap in this track. Came all the way starting from 30th in last place to the lead. But it's not gonna be long enough as Barty Ward just made a move on him for the lead. Joseph Clark right behind him with 11 laps to go. And here comes Joseph Clark. Here he comes for the lead. And here comes Eric Burton. Eric Burton for the lead. And now, no, it's jo Joseph Clark. And he's going to hit the strike with 10 laps to go. We're almost halfway through, folks. And Kenji Oser is going for second. And Kenji Oser will get second. Kenji Oser. And here comes, oh boy, they're just smushed up there. Almost, they just almost made contact. Here comes Trent Dunham for second. Trent Dunham 
has not won a race, I think, in the in the um, series so far. He's looking to get his first win. Nine laps to go, and Joseph Clark is still hanging on to the lead. Here comes Kenji Oser for the lead. And Kenji Oser gets the lead. Here comes Charles Jackson for second. Charles Jackson gets the second spot. He's been dominant also. Three wins under his belt this series. He's looking for a fourth. Here he comes. Charles Jackson for second. And he's got it. He's going to get it. Right behind him is the pole center, Kyle Livingston, in the 60. Will Livingston make that move? Here comes Livingston, looking to retake the lead. Right behind him, Jason Marshall in the 25. And Jason Marshall has the lead. With nine, with eight laps to go. Here comes Theo Stiegel. Theo Stiegel's going for second. Here comes the one with the knee. Oh, look, here comes the 25 of Jason Marshall for the lead. And Jason Marshall gets a good run off of the bottom, and he gets the lead. Theo Stiegel, though, is right behind him. And here he comes. Theo Stiegel going for the lead. And right behind him, Nicholas Guerrero. Islanders are hosting the race. It would be nice if Guerrera gets the victory lane for the hometown. Luke Walker has done it for LA. Will he do it here? And here comes Ben. Oh, here comes Guerrera. He's going to make the move. Nicholas Guerrera will make the move for the lead, and he's got it. There are going to be six laps to go when he hits the strike. And here comes Ben Ward, though. Ben Ward for the lead. Oh, hard charge, but Guerrero's going to lead the lap, although Ben Ward is going to keep the lead for a little while. And then here comes Ryan Cooper. Ryan Cooper for the lead. Will Ryan Cooper make a comeback here? And here comes Cooper. Here comes Ryan Cooper for the lead. Peter Saviano right behind him. And he's going to hit the strike with five laps to go. A caution might end the race. And Ryan Cooper really wants the caution. Because Jack Richards is hard charging on the bottom. So far we have no caution. So it's Jack Richards that's going to go for the lead. Dylan Poteet right behind him. Here comes... Oh, wow. Here comes Poteet for the lead. Here comes Dylan Poteet for the lead. And he's good. And now the hometown favorite. One of the other hometown favorites. Seth Cole looking to win it here also. Four laps to go. A caution will end the race. Anybody could win. Taylor Williams makes a big move for second. And doesn't allow Seth Cole to get that lead. Looks like Seth Cole is just... The chances of a win here in his home state might be over. Might have to wait till the Meadowlands Speedway next. Here comes Taylor Williams for the lead. And here Barney Ward in the back. Barney Ward going in the back. Here he comes. Three laps to go when he hits the strike. This is really intense. And here comes and Taylor's leading the lap. Three laps to go. Here comes Ben Ward. And look who's behind on the bottom. Ryan Acosta. Ryan Acosta is back in the game. And Ben Barney Ward is going for the lead. Here comes Aaron Williams. Aaron Williams. For the sec for the lead, here he comes. Aaron Williams. And Aaron Williams is gonna get the lead. With and he's gonna hit the strike with two. 
Laps to go. Here comes Ryan Acosta. And Ryan Acosta is going to make the move on the bottom. Ryan Acosta makes the move. With two to go. He's got Corbin Bulky and Kenji Oser on the ba on the back. And Kenji Oster's not wasting any time. He's going for the lead right second, right now. But here comes Corbin Bulky. Here he comes. Corbin Bulky for the lead. It would be really good if he gets his win. First win ever in this track. And you'll see the white flag, but here comes Kenji Oster for the lead. White flag is out. White flag is out. Everybody can win it. Here comes Trent Dunham. Will Trent make the move? And he will! 3 wide for the lead! That's just unbelievable! Connor Brayton looking on the back. Can he hold off Brayton? No! He will not! Here comes Brayton! On the bottom! Here he comes! Connor Brayton! The last chance here! Oh! 3 wide for second! It's gonna be wild! And it looks like Brayton's got a clear shot! Coming off the final turn, and it's Connor Breton that wins in the New York Auto Ring. And a three-wide battle, and it's gonna go third, it's gonna go to Jason Posada. He holds off everybody. And Connor and Connor Breton adds another win to his resume, winning a New York Auto Ring. The shark takes a bite out of the final lap and wins the race. Top 10, Connor Breen is the winner and then it's Jacob Waller. I think this is probably his fourth, second finish and he still couldn't get his first win. James Passat is third, Evan Gattuso fourth, Trent Dunham fifth, at Xavier Livingston seventh, Ryan Acosta seventh, uh, Xavier Livingston was sixth, Kenji Oster eighth, Jake Bassinger ninth, Aaron Williams the top 10 and the rest of the field Pichu finished in 18th, and Luke Walker finished in 19th, so they both finished together in the New York Auto Ring. Not bad finishes for them. They do get the top 20's points. That's 15. That's impressive. And, yeah, the one in last place, Jason Marshall, was only a second, 1.3 seconds behind Breton, the winner, so anyone could have won this race. Well, that's it from the Auto Ring. Connor Breton wins. Next race will be the final race of the regular season, the PRWC, live from Meadowlands Speedway. 25 laps for the final race of the regular season, the PRWC. Who will get into the playoffs? Only time will tell. And this Meadowlands Speedway is big and clutch. So we will see you at Meadowlands Speedway for the final race of the regular season and we will now show you the point standing so take care